Welcome to my channel. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. A massive crack has torn through Grand Teton National Park. This is not a drill. The ground has split open stretching for miles, forcing an immediate mandatory evacuation. Helicopters slice through the mountain air as rangers rush from tent to tent, trail to trail, urging everyone to leave. Families scramble to pack, hikers are guided down, and the roads are jammed with cars fleeing the peaks. The message is clear, get out now. The news hit like a thunderclap. At first, reports of a deep fissure seemed unbelievable, until images of a raw, angry scar flooded social media. Grand Teton, a symbol of wilderness, is suddenly a place of immense danger. Authorities act fast, no time for debate, only for saving lives. Sirens echo through the valleys, rangers become emergency responders, and every person evacuated is a small victory. The threat is still unfolding. Landslides, rockfalls, more seismic activity could follow. The world is watching, asking, what caused this? How big will it get? Scientists rush in, gathering data, trying to understand what's happening beneath the earth. For thousands of visitors, a mountain paradise has turned into a nightmare. Their vacations end in fear, replaced by the realization that the ground beneath us is never truly stable. The Teton Rift is a dramatic reminder of the planet's power, one that can reshape our world in an instant. The park, once a refuge, is now a hazard zone. The evacuation is unprecedented. Grand Teton is a place people escape to, not from. Today, that reality is reversed. The illusion of safety is gone, nature has reclaimed control, and the world holds its breath. Eyewitnesses describe disbelief and terror as the earth split open. It was like a zipper opening in the earth, says Mark Peterson, who watched trees topple and boulders roll as a deep roar filled the air. Panic set in, but their guide kept them moving, urgently, but with a pale, determined face. Maria Flores, at Jenny Lake, felt the ground vibrate, not like an earthquake, but a deep, sustained shaking. She saw the crack appear and widen, grabbing her kids and running for the car, leaving everything behind. Amid fear, there was awe. Some witnesses spoke of the raw power on display, feeling dwarfed by the scale of the event. You feel so small, said one hiker. We think we're in charge, but the mountain just shrugs and our world is upended. The mix of terror and respect was universal. The sounds were unforgettable. The crack of splitting rock, the groan of shifting earth, the crash of falling trees. The serene silence of the mountains is now replaced by memories of destruction. Witnesses saw a geological process that usually takes millennia unfold in hours. The experience left a mark, a new understanding of the forces beneath our feet. The park's tranquility is gone, replaced by a haunting memory. The event's scale and speed stunned everyone. People fled but many paused to watch, unable to look away from the spectacle. The rift's birth was terrifying but also majestic, a reminder that we are guests here. The planet's power is humbling, the emotional impact will linger for years, the landscape has changed and so have those who witnessed it. The event has redefined what it means to be in the wild, the ground is no longer trusted, the mountains once symbols of strength now seem volatile, the park's familiar trails are forever altered, the illusion of a safe wilderness is shattered. The Teton Rift is a lesson in humility. Grand Teton was once the definition of tranquility, a sanctuary for wildlife and people seeking peace. Visitors came for the quiet forests, the meandering Snake River, and the timeless beauty of the peaks. Each season brought its own magic, wildflowers in summer, golden aspens in autumn, snow in winter. People dreamed of seeing moose in marshes or eagles soaring above. That sense of permanence is now shattered. The rift has replaced serenity with anxiety, the ground is no longer trusted, trails are closed, landscapes forever changed. The illusion of a safe, unchanging wilderness is gone. Nature's raw power has reclaimed the narrative. The park that existed yesterday is gone, replaced by uncertainty and unease. The sounds of birds and wind are replaced by scientific equipment and the rumble of an unsettled earth. Grand Teton is now a laboratory of change, a place of fear and fascination. The first to witness the Teton Rift was landscape photographer Sarah Jenkins. She hiked in before dawn, seeking the perfect sunrise shot. Alone on a remote overlook she felt a strange tremor, then a violent shaking. A deafening roar erupted like a freight train tearing through the mountain. Through her lens she saw the forested slope split apart, swallowing trees and spewing dust. Frozen in shock she snapped frantic photos, blurry, chaotic but historic. Realizing the danger she abandoned her gear and ran, the sound of the earth tearing behind her. She didn't stop until she reached a safer trail miles away. There she made the first frantic call to park authorities. 
Sarah came for beauty, but became the first eyewitness to a geological nightmare. Her images became the first evidence of the rift. Her story spread quickly, alerting authorities and the world. The rift's discovery was as sudden as it was terrifying. Sarah's experience set the emergency response in motion. The park's transformation began with a single, unforgettable moment. The world would never see the Tetons the same way again. Sarah's call triggered a massive response. Rangers, sheriffs, and emergency teams mobilized instantly, prioritizing human life. Search and rescue teams swept every trail and campground. National Guard helicopters provided air support and real-time surveillance. Scientists from the USGS and universities converged, bringing mobile command centers and monitoring equipment. Seismometers, GPS stations, and gas sensors were deployed to track every tremor and emission. Drones and satellites mapped the rift's scale and ground deformation. Data poured in, feeding computer models to guide life-or-death decisions. Coordination between agencies was swift and effective. Daily briefings unified park officials, geologists, and law enforcement. Public information officers worked to keep the public informed without causing panic. Within 24 hours, a high-tech organized operation was underway. The focus, protect the public and understand the geological forces unleashed. The Tetons became a center of scientific urgency. The Tetons' geology is a story of dramatic uplift and faulting. The Teton Fault created the steep mountain front but the new rift isn't on the main fault. Scientists debate, is this a dike intrusion, magma forcing its way up, splitting rock? Volcanic gases detected by drones support this theory. The big question, is this connected to the Yellowstone supervolcano? Some think a tendril of magma from Yellowstone is pushing south, making the threat more complex. Others argue it's a local event not directly tied to Yellowstone. Proving which theory is right is now urgent. Scientists analyze gases, seismic patterns, and ground deformation. The answer will reshape our understanding of regional hazards. The rift blurs boundaries between known geological systems. The risks are greater and more unpredictable than anyone thought. The scientific community is racing for answers. The future of the region depends on what they find. The park's closure devastated the local economy overnight. Jackson and nearby towns lost their summer tourist income. Hotels, restaurants, and guides are suddenly out of work. Seasonal workers have been sent home, and supply chains are disrupted. The housing market faces uncertainty. A prolonged closure could trigger a local depression. The rift is a crack in the community's economic foundation. Wildlife faces its own crisis. The rift cuts through migration routes for grizzlies, elk, and pronghorn, fragmenting habitats. Noise, shaking, and gas emissions stress animals, and biologists worry about long-term survival. Scientists use GPS collars and cameras to track animal responses. Early signs. Animals are disoriented, habitats are fragmented, and conflicts with humans may rise. The ecosystem's delicate balance is in chaos. The rift is a disaster for both people and wildlife. Park officials face a monumental challenge. Protect a fragile ecosystem in upheaval. The future of the Tetons' wild inhabitants is uncertain. The rift's impact reaches far beyond geology. A new era of safety and monitoring has begun. The rift zone is now a permanent exclusion area, off-limits except to scientists. High-tech sensors blanket the landscape, streaming data to a new Teton Yellowstone Observatory. Public access is reimagined, mandatory safety briefings, real-time alert apps, and automated warning systems on trails and roads. Building codes in Jackson are overhauled for seismic resilience. New development is restricted in high-risk zones. Grants help retrofit existing structures. Education is key. New programs teach geological literacy and emergency preparedness. The illusion of a peaceful, static landscape is gone. The community is learning to coexist with risk, turning fear into vigilance. Life on the edge of a geological frontier demands constant adaptation. The Tetons are now a model for living with an active Earth. The region's future depends on resilience and awareness. The Teton Rift is a humbling lesson in the planet's raw power. It shattered our sense of security and showed that mountain-building forces are still at work. We must move from assumed dominance to respectful coexistence with nature. Despite our technology, we were caught by surprise, reminding us of our vulnerability. The rift tore through our plans and economy with indifference. This crisis teaches humility and the need for resilient communities. We are not masters of the planet, but inhabitants subject to its power. Yet the rapid response and adaptation show our capacity to learn and endure. The event has sparked new scientific inquiry and a deeper appreciation for our environment. The Teton Rift is a wake-up call. The ground beneath us is not guaranteed to be stable. 
The lesson is not fear, but vigilance, preparedness, and respect for nature's forces. We must listen to the Earth's whispers, so we're ready for its roars.